Hey there guys, it's Gitek here, and um, here's a little quick little vlog I'm doing. Uh, it's on my iPod Nano 1st Gen. Um, as some of you might know, at the end of last year there was this whole lawsuit thing against Apple over overheating um, iPod Nano 1st Gens. And that was, that's was that been going on for years before that, but it finally got um, through, and Apple had to replace all the iPod Nano 1st Gens for free. So, uh, originally they were going to replace them just with refurbished ones, and they ran out, so now they're replacing them with 6 gens, which is pretty cool. So, I have a little paper here that Apple sent me. Dear Apple customer, please follow up on blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they sent me a uh, envelope in which to send it in. So, and I also got um, a little plastic baggie in which I stick my iPod Nano in. I haven't sent this out for quite a long time. I got this last... December. I know, it's crazy. And they said it within 160 days or else you have to resubmit it, but um, I am within the 160 days, so I'm alright. Um, so yeah, I'm weirdly sentimental about getting rid of electronics. I don't know why. Like, I stole my old Game Boy Advance, and it's like, this. No, there's no point in having it. It's just there. It's like, even the DS, I saw the DS Lite, and it's like, you know, how many times have I played that? My GameCube, it's right over there. It's like, how much do I play that? But well, that actually has good games on it, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like I have these old stuff, all this old stuff, and it's like I never get rid of it. And I'm just like, you know what? I, I can get an upgrade for free. I never use this. Like, literally, I don't use this. I For music, I use my phone. Um, and it's like, if I'm ever just wanting, you know, not have to haul my phone along, or, well, I probably will st bring, still bring my phone, but it's like, it would be nice you can I just have a tiny little music player as opposed to... Um, you know, an old one. This one only has one gigabyte of uh, memory. I don't think you can see that too well, but yeah, there's only one gigabyte, and the one they'll send me back has eight gigabytes, which is much, you know, larger for just music especially, because it's like with the iPod Touch, you I mean you have the apps and the music and the videos, but with this, it's just straight music, so I mean, it's not like I can really run out that easily. Well, I, you still can, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah. I'll be getting that in the mail some long time from here. It's the uh, 13th of April right now. So, um, yeah, this is, like I said, quick little vlog, and then I'll attach on the second part of the video as the unboxing for my, well, I guess unboxing, but, you know, unveiling of the 6th gen when I eventually get it back. So, yep, yeah, I'm going to send this off, and I will see you whenever the 6th one gets here. Okay, and here we are, part two. Uh, at the current date right now is April 26th, so I got it back, and it was supposed to come a couple days ago, but we weren't home to sign it, so I guess April 24th would be the official date that it was supposed to be returned. So here it is. Uh, it comes with the little Apple Care service thing. As you can see here, uh, when we open this up, it's basically just saying, uh, the Apple, thank you for participating. Um, please note that the serial number has changed. It's not the same one, and you get a 90-day free warranty, which is pretty nice. Uh, of course, getting a free iPod is also pretty nice. And then it also says to upgrade your software at iTunes. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so, and ready? The foam. You open it up, and here it is. The iPod itself. Okay, and there's really nothing else. It's just the rest of it's foam. So I got some free foam. That is always exciting. Okay. So here it is. Plastic packaging. Comes out like that. And this thing is tiny. My gosh. It's like a shuffle with a screen. So here we are. And boot it up. I believe it probably still needs to be set up. So, yep. Can't really see that because it's very bright. You can sort of see it. There you go. Yes, English. Done. And there we are. That is a quick setup. It kind of feels weird with these giant buttons. It feels like you're stupid or something. <laughs> I don't know. Feels pretty dumb to me. I like the older design a bit more, but I can see the usefulness of having big buttons when you're running or something. As I am a runner, as some of you know. I believe it's, what is it? How do you get back again? Oh, right, it's this, right? There we go. That's so cool. Okay, so yeah, there's the iPod. Um, I won't do a review or anything, because really it's a sixth generation iPod. I'm sure most of you know what it is. 
Uh, but I'll just go a quick overview of what you got. You've got the now playing, you've got music, radio, which I'm assuming you can use if you plug in uh, some earbuds or headphones. Uh, you've got Nike Plus Fitness, which the current uh, generation, not uh, generation, the current firmware for this iPod has um, the option to have this as an accelerometer, so it'll track how far you go, but without the need for the little, you know, shoe thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, means you don't have to pay as much, and you also just, you know, can start right up. You don't have to have fancy sneakers or anything like that. Because there's like this big thing, it's like probably this big or something, to this wide. And it's like there's no space in a normal sneaker for that, so. Uh, you also got clock, that's really what I'm interested in, right? It actually is. You've got a stopwatch, you got a timer, and no alarm, that's interesting, but probably don't need one. Um, there's probably a way to change, there we are. Way to change some of the clocks. Kind of cool. May end up getting a little wristwatch type thing for this because <laughs> that's just so cool. It's so nerdy and hipstery, but it is really cool. So there you go. You got a little watch. Uh, and if you can view photos on here, though, I can't imagine wanting to view photos on here, but I think the only way to get album art or something I've heard is by putting in the photos, but don't, don't take my word for that. That might be completely wrong. Got podcasts and we got settings. Let's check it out. About. Okay, currently, um, you're on, you can barely see that. We are on version 1.2 PC. Uh, we don't have any music. Yeah, there's music settings, general, radio, photos, and fitness and reset settings. So, not too much. So, yeah, there we go. That is what comes with the uh, little Apple uh, retail thing. Uh, what do you call it? You know, replacement thing. Uh, up here we've got some volume buttons, you've got the power button, and I believe somewhere along here, here we are, you've got the uh, earbud jack. That is it. I mean that quite literally, that is it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sorry if this is a super shaky camera because I did not feel like pulling up the tripod. But again, it was supposed to be a vloggy type style, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have fun having fun with this. Might talk about it more in the future if there's anything interesting with hacking or stuff like that. So, um, yeah, as you can hear, it's getting noisy if the dogs are around. Okay, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.